At Human Condition Safety, our City Field Lab was the springboard to show how the product suite works in a challenging environment with large public spaces, thick concrete walls, long corridors, and mechanical chiller and boiler rooms. Next stop, our protopilot project, where we're putting our safety tag on three very different types of people. Manhattan bike messengers, AIG risk consultants, and human condition employees. The goal here is to show how the product suite works in an entirely different way. At City Field, it was about working in one large, complex space. The protopilot is about working in a wide variety of environments and in multiple locations, using different streams of data to refine our filters and flesh out the specific functionalities we can deliver. We're also confirming in real life and in real time how well the product works in an environment like an office building that has multiple wireless technologies that can interfere with each other and with data transmission. To visualize the network we're employing, think about starting in space. Through GPS positioning, we access the coordinates of a wearer's safety tag. Sensors in the tag measure the activity of the wearer, including GPS location, LTE and Wi-Fi triangulation, elevation, acceleration, bad bends, weight carried, falls, collisions, temperature, humidity, and UV intensity. The sensor sends that data to a cloud-based server. Insights are computed from incoming data streams within the cloud and are pulled into our actionable insights dashboard, which can be accessed either on a mobile device or on a desktop computer for a quick read of the data that matters most in any given situation. As we follow these three groups on our data map, each one is represented by a different color tag that sends a continual data stream. We're zooming in now on one of the bike messengers. In addition to the environmental and sensor data, the actionable insight dashboard shows risk data, like when the messenger enters a danger zone and has an incident, in this case, running into a car. The AIG risk consultant leaves his office and heads to a job site at Columbia University on the Upper West Side. You can see him enter a risk zone now and follow him to another job site when he's done. The human condition employee lets us follow someone in a building where we have a BIM model to help refine our location accuracy readings and better establish how well LTE positioning works compared to ultra low band positioning, which we tested at City Field. Our learning from this proto pilot will test the limits of LTE and GPS positioning. We'll prove out how well our tech stack is working and how our circuits work in new and varied conditions. It also lays the groundwork for the next steps, such as incorporating and combining additional available data to deliver even more risk mitigating information. That will let us reduce both the impact of incidents and mitigate risks associated with a given set of conditions. That would let AIG risk consultants get real-time notifications as they arrive on site. That would tell, for example, that there were three more slips and falls last week on a site than the historical average, or than is benchmarked for this particular industry. That's the kind of information that can truly change how we look at risk and reduce it. Human condition safety, making work safer.